There's no place like home. They say that home is where the heart is, but these risky buildings might just end up ruining your life. Humans have been constructing houses for literally thousands of years, and there are still instances when the architects and engineers get it seriously wrong. So wrong, in fact, that they're just downright dangerous to live in. Yeah, these potentially deadly dwellings should probably have never been built in the first place. From the mysterious mansions whose secrets died along with its owner to the houses perched perilously on the edge of a cliff, these are the 15 riskiest houses in the world. He said two or three or four times when this river has gone up. The Sutyagin House. This insane looking house might look like something straight out of a horror movie, but it was actually real. The Sutyagin House was once the world's tallest wooden structured home, located in Arkhangelsk, Russia. Consisting of a whopping 13 stories, this 144-foot tall house was built over a period of 15 years by businessman Nikolai Petrovich Sutyagi. He first started building the house back in 1992 and only intended to construct two stories. However, after being inspired by wooden houses in Japan and Norway, he decided to take his grand design to the next level, literally. After building three floors, he felt that the house looked strange, describing it as resembling a mushroom. So to fix this, his design mishap, he added another floor. Yet it still looked bizarre. Well, we think you know where this is going. Without any planning permission, he kept on building, even installing a five-story wooden bathhouse in his yard. Construction only stopped when he was sent to jail, and the house began to deteriorate. Eventually, the authorities ordered for the house to be demolished and feared that a fire in the structure could cause the entire village to burn down. We guess that's the problem with making your house out of wood. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. And now it's time for our mysterious missing topic. Today we're taking a peek at this problematic palace built on the edge of a sheer cliff face. Yet if sleeping above a death drop, hanging thousands of feet above the ocean doesn't really bother you, then this is the perfect house for you. Designed by Alex Hogreffi, this Icelandic house is some people's dream home and other people's worst nightmare. At the moment, this concrete cliffside mansion is still just a fantasy concept, but architects all over the globe are talking about this exhilarating hanging house. Do you think a home like this could ever exist in real life? Join in the conversation by using the hashtag missing topic in the comment section below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Spaceship Volcano House Ever want to live on top of a volcano? Well, for the red-hot price of $750,000, now you can. This once active volcano in the Mojave Desert is home to one of the riskiest houses of all time. Built back in 1970, this dome-shaped house was designed to look like the futuristic center of a nuclear power plant. Located in the California desert, halfway between Los Angeles and Las Vegas, this secluded spot has two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and even an observation deck that offers spectacular 360-degree views of the desert. Oh yeah, and there's also a man-made lake. You know, just in case hanging out on top of a volcano gets a bit too hot to handle. This awesome vacation home is totally unique, if not a little bit creepy. This 2,206 square foot home might be built on top of a fiery volcano, but when you venture inside, it actually looks pretty cozy. Would you dare sleep above this volcanic mountain? Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> China's Nail Houses If you've ever seen the Pixar movie Up, then you'll know how stubborn some people can be when it comes to giving up their home. But these quirky houses really do exist in real life. When property developers started demolishing houses in China to build new skyscrapers and highways, some homeowners refused to move an inch. Known as nail houses because they refuse to be hammered down into submission, these out-of-place homes can be spotted in the most peculiar of places. Yet you can see nail houses located right in the middle of busy roads, as well as sitting in the shadows of tower blocks that loom overhead. Despite big cash offers and pressure from developers, these proud homebodies simply won't budge. That's right, for the people who live in the nail houses of China, there really is no place like home. <laughs> the Cecil Hotel This nightmare hotel in downtown LA is famous for all the wrong reasons. Since opening its doors to the public for the first time in 1924, tragedy and disaster seems to have haunted this budget hotel for almost a century. 
The 19th floor hotel has 700 rooms, and each one of them seems to have a story to tell. At least 13 suicides have occurred at the infamous Cecil Hotel, as well as murders and various other crimes. In the 1980s, it was even rumored that notorious serial killer Richard Ramirez may have been living here at the hotel. It was recently renamed Stay on Main in a bid to appeal to young, trendy backpackers looking for cheap accommodation, but the rebranding couldn't remove the dark energy that lived inside the walls of the hotel. In 2013, Canadian student Eliza Lamb checked into the hotel and never checked out again. Disturbing footage of her hiding from a mysterious presence in the elevator went viral, with conspiracy theories about her disappearance running wild. Eventually, her body was found in the water tank on the roof, but the police couldn't figure out exactly how she ended up there. Weirdly, a local outbreak of tuberculosis in the nearby Skid Row was connected to her death. The reason why? Well, the tests offered out to be the homeless population were bizarrely named the Lamb Eliza in the creepiest coincidence of all time. Yet, if you stay at the Cecil Hotel, you do so at your own risk. <laughs> the Katsky Pillar This ancient pillar isn't your conventional home. Standing 130 feet tall on top of a natural limestone monolith, this amazing Georgian landmark has to be one of the strangest houses on the planet. This hard-to-reach monument can only be accessed via a single ladder attached to the side of the rock, and once you climb to the top, you'll find a tiny church, a burial chamber, and a mysterious cellar. It doesn't exactly sound like the most welcoming place in the world, we've got to admit. This bare-bones abode was said to have been built by a monk who wanted to escape the temptations of the world below, and it's even rumored that he's buried right here at the top of the pillar. So not only is it extremely inconvenient, but it's also haunted too. Yeah, the Katsky Pillar is not the kind of place that you want to live unless you're a monk, of course. <laughs> the Leaning Buildings of Santos These tilted buildings will leave you hanging on the edge of your seat, yet the peculiar skyscrapers of Santos have a serious design flaw. They're leaning to one side, standing anywhere from a couple of inches to several feet off balance. There are almost 100 lopsided buildings in the Brazilian city of Santos, but shockingly, there are still people living inside these awkward-looking apartment blocks. We bet it's hard to hang a painting straight in those rooms. Due to out-of-date building codes, the foundations of these skyscrapers weren't deep enough to support the weight of the buildings amongst the soft clay terrain. And so over time, these wonky towers began to lean slightly more to one side. Spokespeople for the city claim that these leaning buildings are perfectly safe and everyone seems more than happy to live a slightly off-kilter life inside the imperfect apartment buildings. There is, however, always the fear that the collapse of one building will start a domino effect across the entire skyline. Fingers crossed that that never happens. The Winchester Mystery House this spooky mansion in California is full of dark secrets and hidden corners. In fact, there are so many hidden corners that nobody has ever managed to actually count the total number of rooms at the Winchester Manor. The 24,000 square foot house, located in San Jose, began construction in 1886 after Sarah Winchester's husband died from tuberculosis. Seeking solace from a spiritualist, the medium told her that she must build a home to housed the angry spirits of people who have died as a result of her husband's gun manufacturing company, and so that is exactly what she did. However, there was one strict warning. Sarah must never stop building the house. That's right, this grieving widow hired a team of carpenters who worked 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for the next 38 years, never ceasing to build new rooms, windows, doors, and staircases. Some of the doors lead to nowhere, and the blueprints for this mysterious house have never been found. The house was designed like a maze, with many people believing that there was a deliberate escape route for Sarah to evade the vengeful ghosts who haunted the house. To this day, the caretakers of the Winchester Mansion still don't know all of its secrets. The Meteora Monasteries The stunning clifftop monasteries of Meteora in Greece are undeniably beautiful, but that doesn't make them any less scary. These incredible buildings sit 2,000 feet above the ground and were built way back in the 14th century. Shockingly, there are still monks and nuns who live there to this day. We wonder if they can get Wi-Fi up there. The name Meteora actually means suspended in air in Greek, which is pretty accurate of what these remote buildings are. Towering above the village of Kalambanka, the residents of Meteora used to travel up and down the cliffs using a series of makeshift ladders and baskets. 
but today you can actually embark on a breathtaking cable car trip to get to the top. It's hard to believe people still live up there, but at least the view is spectacular. <laughs> Castellfolia de la Roca, Spain Located in Catalonia, Spain, this village is certainly one of a kind. Yet this unique community is one of the smallest villages in Spain and spans an area less than one square kilometer. Wow, we hope everyone gets along with their neighbors in this tiny town. Scarily close to the edge of a steep 160-foot cliff, this rocky region was first formed over 217,000 years ago when two lava flows met and merged together. The houses are mainly made from volcanic rock built in the medieval times. Squeezed tightly together, the streets here are skinny and full of shadows, making the village even more claustrophobic. Imagine living on the edge of a cliff like this. You couldn't live here if you were scared of heights. The Drina River House Perched on a boulder in the middle of the Drina River, Serbia, this unusual dwelling has stood proudly since 1969. Surrounded by the stunning Tara National Park in Bajina Basta, this one-room cabin was built by hand by a dedicated group of youths who spend their childhood swimming in the Drina River. Using driftwood from the water to build the tiny house, this astonishing abode has been knocked down approximately seven times when water levels in the river rose, but every single time this mysterious cabin has been restored to its former glory. This remote spot found global fame when National Geographic published a photo of the Drina River House as part of their Photo of the Day series, and since then, sightseers have traveled for miles to catch a glimpse of this odd secluded cabin. Hmm. Mount Hang Hanging Monastery These monks are just hanging out. Yeah, the Mount Hang Hanging Monastery has been the ultimate chill-out spot for monks since 386 AD and was built by drilling holes into the side of a sheer cliff face sounds dangerous. The monastery is supported by wooden poles and has stood for over 1,400 years. Designed to withstand the brutal weather of Daytong, China, this peaceful place of worship provided a refuge from floods, wind, and snow. It has 40 different rooms connected by passages within the cliff, some 246 feet above the ground. This unique monastery might be high up, but it's still accessible to everyone. In fact, it's home to monks following three separate religions, Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. Could you live in this risky house in the mountains? Let us know in the comments below. Dar al Hajar, Yemen. This former royal palace is steeped in history. Known as the Rock Palace, this epic castle was located in Wadi Dar, 15 kilometers from the capital city of Yemen. This awesome abode is built on a tall rock formation and was designed to be the summer house for the ruler back in the 1920s. However, this peculiar palace is even older than you might think. It's thought to be built on top of a structure that was actually built in 1786. Five stories high, this labyrinth-like castle was built like a fortress and even has shooting emplacements to defend this palace from any enemies. We can imagine this towering castle would be a great place to hide out during a zombie apocalypse. It even has its own water supply, drawn out from deep under the rock. Nowadays, the Rock Palace is open to the public as a museum and is featured on the Yemeni banknote as an example of astounding Yemeni architecture. It really is breathtaking. <laughs> the Lagengarb Hut This mysterious little cabin in Scotland has captured the imagination of explorers and adventurers everywhere. Nestled at the bottom of a huge rocky mountain, this tiny white cottage sits alone in the wilderness. Yet if you like isolation, then this miniature house might just be your dream home. Once used as a homestead for growing vegetables and raising animals, this old cabin is made of thick stone, protecting it from gale force winds that batter its walls. Owned by the National Trust for Scotland, this hut is actually available to rent throughout the year and comes complete with heating, cooking facilities, and lighting. There are working toilets, a shower, and a separate dormitory which can sleep up to 20 people. Yeah, this tiny cabin in the middle of nowhere can fit 20 people inside. And with no neighbors for miles, you don't even need to keep the noise down. The Carrot House Welcome to the Carrot House in Warsaw, Poland. This astonishing building is officially the world's skinniest house, measuring just 122 centimeters across at the widest point and 72 centimeters at its most narrow. Yet yeah, there's not much room to stretch out in this quirky house. Designed by Polish architect Jacob Szczęsny, this awkward abode was built as an art installation rather than a house, but it's still totally possible to live here. 
The semi-transparent building has just 46 square foot of floor space, but it still manages to squeeze in a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and refrigerator. This windowless house may look like nothing more than a cushion of air between the two buildings from the outside, but on the inside, the Carrot House is a tranquil retreat for traveling writers. It's the perfect place to sit and create. And let's face it, you can't fit much more than a pencil and a notepad inside this cramped crevice anyway. Just Enough Room Island This tiny patch of land is actually the smallest inhabited island on the planet, no bigger than a tennis court. This island can just about fit a small 3,300 square foot cabin on its shores. You could step out the front door and start swimming on Hub Island. This craggy rock is located in the St. Lawrence River, which runs between New York and the United States and Ontario in Canada. The family who owns this curious cottage bought the island as an escape from city life. But little did they know that the size of this record-breaking island would attract all kinds of tourists and sightseers. This particular island is just one of 1,864 islands floating on the river, but it's definitely the smallest one with an actual house on it. What'd you think of this cozy little cottage? Would you trade in your apartment for the world's tiniest island? So there you have it, these risky houses might be unconventional, but there's still no place like home. Which one could you see yourself living in? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.